Um, but yeah, we have a cast here. We, we got the fucking cat. We got a cast here. Um, Steve the Live co-host, Origami decided to pull up. Crows of Judgment co-host, oh. Calf Owner. I'm sorry, uh, and Louis Caliber, Megastar. So you got quite the. If, if at any point, any point, TJ, do you want me to move anybody at this point in time? Just tell me now. No, oh, I'm I'm mute. I'm... No, I'm no, everything's all good. I don't care. All right, you're cool with us. All right. Well, uh, yeah. So, would you like to address first and foremost anybody in this call? Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, I think yesterday when Louis was on Crow, there was kind of a misunderstanding on what I was trying to bring up in the chat, but, you know, you can only type so much, you know, in a given chat. Um, when I was speaking upon that, uh, Louis, you sat here and said the only reason why you came to my streams, uh, was because of Ohm Record, but you've came to, like, several streams after, like, he hasn't showed up to one and another and another and another, and you were engaging a lot with my chat. Was it the only reason why you came to my streams is try to, you know, find Ohm Record and engage with him? No, I have no reason to lie. You have all your stuff timestamped, or a lot of people had timestamps of when I joined or whatever. And you can see, what was I saying in there? I was never well, saying anything. There was, other I, than... I, you were having fun with some of the chat and stuff like that and responding to other people as well. Yeah, but <clears throat> I was going to say, is Ohm in here? Like, I did a couple times. Said, is Ohm or some shit like that? I asked, like, waiting for him. Like I said, when you, when you first started streaming or whatever and Ohm had joined, I was trying to get in there to talk to Ohm to talk to him about what he was saying about me. That thing about my friends. Like, I had already squared that off myself. I wanted to know what Ohm was saying. No, I do, do you... but he was live there. So but I was you, just like, but, you know. But you have, like, his DMs or something like that? No. Yeah. But you but he... wanted to talk to him through a live chat instead of DMs? Yeah. Is there any particular reason why, or...? Yeah, because if he has nothing to hide, he can see it right there. Okay. Um, all right. Is there something else you'd like to address? A question. I have a question. I'm just going to go. Like, uh, if everyone's okay with that, TJ, I have a question for you. Are you, are you cool with that? Yeah. So I'm just gonna ask you this. I'm I don't know how to fucking phrase it any better. So I'm just gonna be straightforward. Do you think Louis is a pedo? Um, from what I what I've seen, yeah, I believe uh, that first part of the document, which in turn, yes, I believe he's a pedo. Why would you? Right, shouldn't, it, uh, shouldn't like, you be, what's the reason? Right, for like, it? shouldn't you shouldn't you be addressing him more about that than like the chat stuff? I feel like this is. Like I mean, I mean, I mean, like, if, if I'm being completely honest, I just woke up. I yeah. just got a message from oh, okay. uh, Sen like two hours ago. I, if you want, give me like thirty okay. minutes. I will get okay. a list of questions ready, and I can do do a full on interrogation. Or if Louis would just like to later down the road do a live stream, I can do a live stream where I can sit here and talk to him okay. about it. But I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying you have to interrogate him. I'm saying like, there's the guy you believe is a pedo. Uh, but you're mustering up the, the chat shit. I'm just saking I'm just curious. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, I was only bringing up the I chat thing because we were talking about just, it. You know, we right, were yesterday. talking about it yesterday on Crow's stream, so I was just gonna address that real mm -hmm. quick. I mean, there's several questions to ask and stuff like that. Um in terms of certain of the text messages when I see in uh, the underage evidence part of the document. Um, there's the other stuff on, like, I, I have no idea originally how uh, communication right, first started. Hold on, I have questions. I have questions, then. All right. Oh, okay. Hold on. I mean, so, I'm none here. of that's fine. All right, so TJ believes the first part, right? He believes the first part is what you said, right? Right? Yes, no? TJ? Yes. So you believe the first part. <clears throat> so when Cyan said a minor got in contact with her and she was 15 years old-ish, right? <clears throat> and I was talking to her, whatever, some types of ways. And then she said that now she's 16. I get it. Like that, that's like a small thing, all right? Just the age is a little difference. Like, oh, I was 15-ish. Yeah, 15-ish could be of 16 barely or turning 16 or whatever, stuff like that, right? 
But when she says to Sam, I never send any pictures or talk to him or engage him in any way, right? Okay. Right? Okay. So she said that. In her chats, in this Google Doc, I'm complimenting a picture she had sent me. That's a contradiction, yes or no? Yeah, I guess, because she sat here and said that she didn't send any pictures to you. Okay, but she said it. I'm not saying it. These are, these are on the document, and this is on right. science, like DMs with her. She said, I didn't send them anything. In her document, in this document, she says she sent me. Uh, I'm, she didn't say it. She didn't clarify it. She just put screenshots in there, and one of the screenshots totally eradicates that. She said, hey, I didn't send you anything, but she did. Correct? All right, yeah. Okay, now two. <clears throat> she said, hey, um, I never like talked to him in any kind of way. It always made me feel uncomfortable, and I was always flirting. So when she's scrolling through her Snapchat, right? When she's scrolling through her Snapchat, um, <clears throat> you hear or you see that, you know, she asked if she had woken me up or whatever. And I said, yeah. And I say, yeah, come to bed, blah, 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 right? And she goes, okay. And then I say, like, oh, yeah, like, um, there's the chat and all that that says that, like, yeah, you got to come in topless. She goes, how topless? Like, hmm, how topless? Like, indulging? Then it's like, yeah, then, and pantless. Hmm, how pantless, right? Does that seem like she's uncomfortable or not? Uh, probably no, not at the time. Okay. And then she also said, though, right, that she never participated or engaged in any type of way in 2020. Now, 2021, when this gets released, and again, these weren't screenshots. This was a video just to kind, to kind of verify that, look, let me scroll that we did talk, and let me show you that this is Louis, like, username, right? Like, she probably didn't know what she was scrolling through or people were going to freeze it or stop it. So some stuff got released that contradicts her story a second time. Correct? Because she did say, I didn't talk to Louis like that at all and I felt uncomfortable. But then in her own video, she shows that she did engage like that and didn't seem uncomfortable. Is that true or false? Well, if she engaged with you at a younger age, she probably, yeah, she was probably more comfortable at, at the time, yeah. We can't question, like, the age, though. We can't say, like, oh, if she was outside and the, the, it was windy and, like, it was a nice, comfortable temperature for her, she felt good to talk. I'm just saying, did she engage and seem uncomfortable just in well, what you I, 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 I sat I sat here and stated plenty of times before during the live stream that the victim was engaging at the time of the Snapchat messages. I mean, this is stuff I've already admitted to and said the victim shouldn't have engaged at this at all. If, they, if she was truly underage and you were over the age of 18, this should have never happened. And some of the blame goes to the victim as well. Also, the parents if she was for outside. allowing this to happen. Parents still have responsibility for anyone to get on a phone and go on the internet under the age of 18. So yeah, the but we're not going to get into like, um, like who, whose mom are, and dad are, should be are, watching are, over their shoulders. Are, okay, but if you're trying to bring up that the victim did something wrong, I've already stated that before. So what is the point that you're trying to bring up? The it fact doesn't, that the person it doesn't that change. You believe, listen, the person that you believe is inconsistent and a liar already. Okay, okay. And then where's your statements that you've made towards all of this? So that's where I want to know. Did, have you addressed it in tweets? Have you made your twit long about it? Is there a video where you talked about all this? Because I had a hard time finding out what your side of the story was. And it's yeah, kind of hard to get a hold of you. I, no, it, it's not that hard at all. Okay, how do if, I get a hold of you had, then? If you had put as much effort into trying to get a hold of Keemstar in trying to get in touch with me, <laughs> I would have probably seen it. I was on your chat. I asked to actually join your 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 call with uh, Ohm. I made myself available. Okay, I've never seen yeah. your your quote unquote when you asked to join the Ohm record thing. I was probably focused on just speaking to Ohm at the time. And second, what you do, did I, do, do I just tweet at you? you said, and oh, Louis, okay. you said you said Louis wanted to join when? And you're, oh, I seen it right here. Oh, yeah, it was probably after the call was over, after I was done talking to him. Yeah, but after that, we had chatted afterwards. I even made fun of your acronym. DJV, okay. Yeah, we, we had we had um interactions or initials, I'm sorry, initials. But we had interactions. So I'm saying I had myself 
available. I wasn't like, now it's a different story. And now like people want my story. The thing is this, I know if I'm guilty or not. And I'd rather do things the right and proper way. I can start, I can start up a stream and talk about everything and show evidence and stuff and plead my side of the case. But I'm not trying, like this whole Me Too movement is stupid. If you had heard me speak on John's stream that you came on and then left because you had to do yours, you would have understood what I said when I said, I didn't mind coming to talk to them, like even to this day, if they wanted to talk and resolve things. I didn't care if they wanted to do it peacefully or if they wanted to fight to the death. If I was worried about any of this stuff, I wouldn't have said any of that publicly. I don't need to sit here to try to vindicate myself to anyone, and that's what I haven't done. The only thing I came out to say was, my friends are innocent of any of the stupid shit people heard in a call. They didn't have anything to do with that, and that none of that is true. And as I was there, I was kind of saying things to people about the situation because these girls were just showing how manipulative, conniving, and there's another word I don't want to use, but I'm not going to say it. But yeah, they were just really, really stupid. And I felt like, you know what? The fact that like, you know, Cyan's boyfriend came out of nowhere to attack me too. It's like, of course I get it. He's doing his job, I guess. Like, but I, I don't know. Like he's on a pro team speaking the way he is about my kid, the way he did. And it's just like, wait, what? Like you have, you don't even know anything about me or my family. So for one, I don't know why you're saying anything like that. I'm pretty sure his sponsors and his team would not appreciate seeing a tweet like that. Because I know I didn't. But the fact that they were spouting off and they showed their colors, I only showed a little bit of, yeah, this is kind of who they are. And I shared with, like I said, a fraction. I'm not going to go all out and go, oh, I have everything. Here we go. Because I don't think this is the way it should have been handled. And I even said there, every time they kept saying, every time I tried to talk to Syed or Kyla or Sara, they would always push their agenda. What about this girl? And then again, I find it very peculiar in Syed's document. Here, I'll tell you this right now. Like I, it, the creation of this folder, Sara and I hadn't talked. The last time I talked to her was November in 2020. The creation of this document, Sara hit me up. The dates all match up. Kyla started trying to get in contact with me. So since January, they've been trying to reach me. Luke, Cyan, JD7 had been working on this document for some time. Cyan goes, I had to go back to this girl to see if she had any more evidence. And like, lo and behold, she did. Like she was holding out, like, you know, for the moment. But again, you put it in your video. The video that she's recording of me scrolling, like her scrolling through the chat or whatever, not the chat, sorry, the picture of me, right? Yeah. If you listen clearly, you can hear someone in the background saying that they want that expensive headset. Now, looking at the original picture from the phone, you can see that the picture from the phone is a screenshot from a screenshot. All right, because you want to go at all angles. Okay, could it be that I was talking to someone that was trying to extort or blackmail me back then, try to use this footage and stuff like that, that was going to try to use money or try to get me like, hey, I'm going to release this picture of you unless you do this. And they're sitting there talking about like the things they could buy with the money that they would get me from what they were doing. Because I find it strange that when you say, yeah, why would someone carry all this evidence? I find it really strange, too, that someone that felt so uncomfortable was holding on to this for years Instead of using it or going to authorities or going um, or posting this themselves, I just felt like, oh, this girl Cyan posted something. Huh. Let me just jump on it, too. It reminds me kind of like, oh, hey, Louis said this. Oh, friends in this. And they're always trading pictures and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, got it. Now I can throw this and tie this together. I just felt like, you know, in the end, hey. I have um I have these pictures and stuff like that that I took Louis back then. I'm not gonna use, but yeah, I'll just give them to this girl and just whip up this story. And let's just throw this at him now. 
and let's see who's going to bite it. Like, I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm anonymous. To you guys, they're not. I know their identities. I'm not saying anything because the only reason why Jane Doe 1 got outed was because she didn't really cover her name in the doc. You can see it. You can, like, there's a, like, in a screenshot that I sent to her, you can see her name there. Funny thing about it is she denied that being her when I asked. So second, oh, second, I'm probably like on seven, actually. <laughs> but, so you're wondering, oh, why wouldn't I say anything and stuff like that? Because I'm not one of those, okay, audience, listen, I have to, no. I'd rather things be handled properly, and like I said on John's stream, this Me Too movement, I don't like the way it is. Is that what they're like? Okay, is that what they're teaching kids in middle school, high school? Like, you have a problem, don't go to your counselor, don't go to the authorities, go to the social media. And I've said I can empathize that if this is the way that they feel that they need to, hey, I need to talk to you. I I, I need to express my feelings with my phone because maybe this is the generation where like your phone comes first. So all right, so they they had to tell their story, right? So they tell their story. And then after they tell their story, they're kind of like, hey, um, so what do we do now? And it's just like, I don't know. How did it hit? It's like, uh, is he gone? Is it a banger? No? Oh, whatever. Let's just carry on and stuff. Then it's like, ah, got someone else now to say something. Better. Let's bring it back. Let's rip it up. So it's like Luke is working on something right here. Because I'm sure the chick in Nebraska is probably like, I'm getting ready for my story too. So, and I say that as in Jane Doe number two, who threatened me saying she was going to release stuff on me years before this cyan thing. And I was like, wait, what? And I'm just like, okay, this is like super dumb. So I talked to her about it. Like, what are you going to try to do and why? Um, like I said, I, I, I've interacted. I, I know, like, these, I don't know why they try to remain hidden because, like I said on the other stream, I have this stuff documented because I have to make sure that I'm okay. I have to make sure that I'm not doing the wrong thing. Because I know my place. And I know what can happen. And I know I'm not ordinary. I'm not the dude from McDonald's that if me and the girl stop talking, it's like, ah, whatever. Because sometimes... The fame didn't get to me or anything, but sometimes it can get to other people. Which, okay. Let, let me give an example. Am I still good? Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Like, is, is my You're voice good. pitching or anything? You're good. This scenario, right? I, I, I'm talking to, like, right now, I'll say, I'm talking to Selena Gomez. It's not true. But I'm talking to Selena Gomez. I get off the phone with her and I tell all my friends, oh my gosh, like I met up with Selena Gomez. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like we're, it's cool. Like we started seeing each other. It's awesome and stuff. And they're, they're, they're putting into my head things like, imagine if she blows you up, she gets you like a record deal. You get big on IG. You guys make TikToks together. Like, it'll be sick. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, I kind of just like it. But they put these thoughts in my head or whatever. And then Selena decides, hey, Louie, you're not for me, man. And then it's just like, what? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Because now I have to do this big ass weird walk of shame because Selena Gomez from McDonald's and McDonald's is a bad place to work, right? So everyone works at McDonald's, but I'm not like shitting on it. But I'm just saying, like, just to give it a general example, it's like, ah, me and her stop talking, it's whatever. So it's like, if that was the case, ah, she ain't shit, she ain't shit. But now, me and Selena Gomez broke up. Like, what happened to you? Talk of shame. Yeah, like, I might have pride. Ah, oh, dude, no, like, she, she kind of sucked, actually. Really? Yeah, and it's be it worked out for the best. It, it wasn't like, she was like, she wasn't all that and stuff. Like, fuck, fuck her rich life, and who cares? Like, she, she, she thinks she's all cool and stuff, but I don't want that or whatever. And, like, start talking shit or whatever. I maybe have a couple messages I can say, like, you know, she's actually a bitch. Let me tell you, she's a bitch. Oh, and then start my own shit on Selena Gomez, because I'm a little bitter and I'm mad. Because I had, like, a one-night stand taken too far, and I thought it was going to be, like, we were going to get married or something. But anyways, like I said, I know where I stand. I don't have to sit here, like, you know, when Keemstar contacted me and stuff like that. Um, he was like, this is the big story or whatever. And I was like, dude, 
it's stupid. Ohm wants to run with something. He thinks he has a smoking gun. I don't give a shit. And then, so let me ask you real quick. When you said that I was bad to women, where did you get that from? Uh, I've seen several of the text messages and how you treated them. So you see some of the audio well, clips from Instagram as well. Okay, so the text messages from um, the document, the documents, uh, what's been tweeted out, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so you did see the document before you said you saw the document, which is why you had that opinion of me of me being bad to women or something like that, right? Uh, I don't know what you mean by before I seen the document. I saw the document right around the same time. Right around the same time as what? Uh, shortly after you started joining my streams all the time. Okay, because when I joined your stream, you made the video on me a week and a few days later saying that you had been going over this document for weeks. So if it was one week, that statement of saying you went on that document for weeks doesn't make sense because it was only a week and a few days. So that means you had to have the document before I joined the streams to make your statement correct of seeing you had been going over this document for weeks because I had been in your stream the first time a week and a few days. Look, Louie, if your point that you're trying to make is that, you know, you're in the right and you're being like misrepresented and all this other stuff, that very well may be true. But I've only went over a specific part of the document and talked about that. And it could be very well that the rest of the document is bullshit and Cyan has it out for you. And that may be true. But all I'm saying is, is I viewed the document from the information that was public on the Internet without going to people and asking several questions to you or to Cyan or anyone else. Um, and I don't believe I have that power to sit here and just blatantly contact everyone. Um, but a you lot do. of people were... no one's stopping you. Like you literally do. No one's stopping you from sending uh, tweets by by, tweets. by by just tweeting at you and saying, "Hey, come join my live stream constantly." You did the same for Keemstar. Why would it be different for me? Well, I, I just noticed your decline in being in my streams, and I figured that you didn't want to be in my streams after I've made an opinion about you. From one yeah, part you, of the document that I viewed. But you straight up told me when I first joined that you made some videos on me that you probably wouldn't like. And you said, I don't really have that high opinion of you, Louis. And that didn't make me leave your stream. You said that to okay. me when I first had joined. All righty. What I'm saying is, you say a lot of things that contradict what you say in order to fix what it is at the scenario. Like the situation now. Um, I'm not, you said that like, uh, you don't know what point I'm trying to make. And it's like, I, I'm not making any point. I'm just trying to see where you're coming from because you said, like I said, you, if you just look at your videos, the times of your videos, you said, hey, like I've been looking for weeks at this document. And then I'm like, oh, I was there All like right. a week ago. That was a week ago. So if he was doing this for weeks, then huh? like this doesn't make sense. I don't get it. And I'm not trying to pull any, um, I want to say semantics over this, but it's more like, a, and I'm not nitpicking. I'm, dude, if I said I knocked on your door like a day ago, and then I came to your house like a few weeks ago, that, that makes a huge difference, especially in the way like I felt like you were talking with me. And I was there, like I said, I was there because you were one of the many streams that was popping up. Of course, you know, I'm sure you know this, that Ohm likes to pop up in streams. Ohm leaves comments on channels, on videos. He left it on minis, left one on um, uh, Luke's. He's left comments everywhere. He's talked about this stuff. So I'm just watching, and yeah, I'll interact every now and then. But again, I've never said, guys, refer to my tweets. Guys, I'm innocent. Guys, this. Like, I've never went over there to try to win anyone over. I'm just here to just state what you guys can see publicly. Maybe I'll share a little bit of a couple things on the side. But I felt like, wait, how do people, are, how do they come into these conclusions? Like I asked, like, how, how do you know if I'm bad? Because if I'm pretty sure I can pull out a lot of clips or tweets from you to show, yeah, look at TJ's bad. Look at, and not show you what made you say this or why you said that. And you actually joked with me too. You're like, yeah, I can make up something as well. Louis cheats at laser tag. Yeah, it's not hard for you to accuse or start something. Which is why I said, 
if you read the document, Cyan says, hey, I went back to that girl, the minor girl, the alleged minor, and was like, hey, I want to uh, ask her if she has anything extra. Anything else you can give me? And it's just like, okay, like, I thought, like, you know, she, you had everything. Like, what, what did you need? What are you looking for? What is your attention and stuff? And apparently, from Crow, from their ambassador, all they wanted was an apology. I'm like, huh? And I addressed that too. It's like, dude, again, you could have came to talk to me. And we could have talked. Like, it's crazy that Sara turned turncoat because I didn't want to be with her. So all of a sudden, she was with me during this whole science stuff. Not with me like, like, like that. And like we were talking. And she was around. And she was even pulling this shit, like saying, that, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Like d Exactly what she did to me is what she said she wanted to do to Cyan for me. And I'm like, what? No, I don't want that. So I just feel when you formed your opinion on me based on tweets, I'm, like I said, if I'm sure people from your Discord or could pull a lot of stuff you said out of context and put it in there and I can be like, wow, let's just show it to anyone. Look at this guy. He seems like an asshole, right? Yeah, he's such an asshole. And it's like, wow, well, okay, well, I, I don't know why there's no solid straight thing, which that's the thing. I have, like I'll say that, I have the chats fully. Um, everything I posted online, I have that. Like I, I know they know the context. But I'm only sharing a little bit to them. Just a reminder, hey, I'm like this is what I have. And like I said, if we talk and we can come to an amicable like resolution, cool. But like I said, for the sake like of the the Me Too movement, which I think is super dumb, there could have been like this could have been a turning point where look, even though I believe they're in the wrong. I can show a lot of shit that will vindicate me and stuff. I can post stuff or whatever. It doesn't have to go that far where reputations and all that stuff, even theirs, will be tarnished. If they can be like, hey, look, we apologize for all this stuff. We, we, we fucking, we fucked this up. There are real victims out there that are suffering from abuse, rape, and all these allegations that we claimed and stuff like that. And we are sorry about that. And it's like, and I, if I was to be like, yo, dude, Forgive them. I'm Catholic. So it's like, forgive them. Like, let them live their lives and stuff like that. But let this be like a big lesson in this Me Too thing that shit doesn't have to be this stupid. Where it's like, here's my cancel attempt. And it's like, I activate anti-cancel. And then it's like, oh, this does fucking drops your opponent's life points to zero and gets them canceled instead. It's like, dude, no, we could probably fix this. It doesn't have to go that far. But like I said, I, if you want to fight to the death, I am down either way. I have made my stance clear on that. I don't need to post stuff that's going to start ruining everyone's reputation, making the internet fight and stuff like that. If there can just be a declaration that, hey, all right, we resolved it. We just want to move on. Sorry we did all this shit. Blah, blah, blah. Bye. And disappear. And then it's like, be a model for people that want to do this shit that's going to fuck up other people's lives or mess with their families, etc. Like, I was open to all that. But it's like, I feel this was real shitty. I didn't care which way it ended. It can be good or bad. I wasn't worried about any of that shit. The only thing is, it's just when people have opinions and they have half brain assumptions and they start pouring it out there for an audience to see. And it's just like, wait, hold on. That's when there's like a problem where it's like, okay, look it. Should it take legal course on this? Can I take? I can. Should I green light it right now? Should I wait on this? But we'll see. And so it's like, dude, I didn't have to come out and make like 50 different videos saying no, 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 no. And I'm not going to. Um, I can't answer any questions like on what I'm going to do. Um... I'm pretty sure it, it's it's apparent that I'm not gonna like. I remember almost saying something too, like, "Oh, don't make threats about." It's like, dude, it's it's not a. Th the only legal threat you can do is like, say you're gonna call the cops on someone, or you're going to sue them. Those are the only like legal threats you can do. 
not only, but like the the two main ones, the two big ones. And so, for me, I'm just trying to. I have a lot of stuff going on on my end, <laughs> like that I'm working on, and so I'm not saying like again that the ball's in their court because it's in the middle and stuff. It just depends on who wants to play. But when outsiders come in and start playing with it and stuff like that, and then they start making fouls and shit, and then it's causing my team or their team to get in trouble, then it's like, okay. So then we have to do our due diligence on those people. But you said on one of your things that you have an open mind to all this stuff, and Crow asked you too. So if the jury exonerated me and said that I was not guilty, you would have thought that, oh, they messed up. That doesn't seem very open-minded. What do you mean? Literally just that. Okay, so just from what I viewed, just that single part, again, I have yet to make a statement on anything else part of that document or any tweets. Again, I'm I'm not all over you know, every tweet and the, all the private DMs between Cyan and the other victims that Crow's gone over before. Um, I have yet to really look through there. I think Crow showed me a couple of them, but I haven't seen all of them. Um, I just looked yeah, at wait, one let me, single let me stop part. Right there. Let, me, let me stop right there for a second. You don't think that's kind of reckless to walk into a murder scene and you open the living room, you see one body on the floor dead and you just examine it and then you come to a declaration of the murderer instead of going upstairs to see the rest of the crime scene to see how everything could have happened? I'm just looking at one situation, Louie. But it's all, but that's the thing though. It happened in the same house. It's in the same document. I'm looking at one situation in the document. Was that victim also in those DMs and was she talking in those group chats? The same one that was underage? I can't confirm nor deny that. Uh, so I, I can't know. So I don't know no, what no. I'm going to be looking at when I go to make a video about it. So no, 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 I'm telling you. I'm no. confused yeah. just along of everyone else as well. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think anyone's confused. I, don't, I just think that... I mean, I I, I'm just asking, is that victim talking to Cyan and all the other victims in that group chat? That's what I'm telling you. I can't say yes and I can't say no. Can I Crow don't, I don't, say yes or no? Can someone else no, say yes I, or no? I'm, I'm literally saying, like, I, I don't know. But what, okay. I'm, what I'm saying, though, what I'm saying is, like, it, it's irrelevant... And the reason I'll explain why it's relevant because I, I don't just talk for no reason. It's then irrelevant. Why, then why are you bringing up that I need to look at everything else if it's irrelevant to look at that? I mean, I'm all I'm telling you is I no, looked no, at I said one it's situation. I said it's, it's irrelevant to know that because okay, let me let me bottom line it then. But like you're I telling said, me to look I, at the other all the other stuff as well, and that's what I'm I trying to do that. here. I can answer that. Go no, for it. Louis, you want to? All right. So yeah, this let, is let, why. Let, let me say. Let me let me say. Let me say it first. This is, okay, why up, this is why I brought up the murder scene, right? You walk into a crime scene. There's a body in the living room, but there's, remember, what did they say? Eight more. There's eight more in that house. So you're sitting here saying how this victim was killed or this person on the floor was killed. You know, if it was self-defense, if it was murder, whatever. You just see it, and you go like, all right, <laughs> this victim was raped. We're looking for a rapist. Like, that's 100% it. Like, I, I picked up her phone, I see some screenshots, yeah, this person that we're dealing with is a rapist. But it's like, wait, 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 do we know if this, this uh, crime scene was staged? And then it's like, I haven't really looked at the whole thing yet. I'm just looking at this one person right here on the floor. And it's like, well, you don't think it's important to find out, like, the whole scope of it? No, no, because if that person wasn't in group chats with everyone else in this house, that, that's irrelevant. And it's like, no, that, that's why I'm saying, yeah, that's true. It's irrelevant because it doesn't matter if that person is in the group chat with Cyan and everyone else plotting this stuff. The whole scope of the matter is what happened here. So you're seeing this one story, which means you're going to go through every story too to find out, is this real or not? Is this real or not? Is this real or not? And before, again, you can even assume that this one's real. You should just look into the authors first. That's it. That's, that's the main thing. You look into the authors of what they did, how they are. Even, like I said, the first few paragraphs of that document. 
we went back, or I went back to ask her for some more things. Conveniently, this person had some more stuff for us. The only thing they didn't have was, oh, where's the age? Where's the age? Where's the age? I said I didn't send him something. I actually did send him something, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to correct that. Um, I said he sent me something. He was sending me videos and things of this sort. And it's just like, you know what? I, before I say too much, actually, and it's nothing against me, <laughs> but it's like, I'll just say this. How do you know the conversations with Cyan and this person started the way they started? It wasn't like, let's just fabricate this from the get-go. Like, you're just DMing me, and I'm going to share this stuff, and then you share this stuff, right? Because I look at I'll tell you, TJ. I know they don't know each other. I know they don't know each other. I know Cyan and this person did not uh, formulate this plan. I can say that. I know that they didn't, but when the opportunity arose, we're like, hey, I had those pictures for whatever reason I was going to use them for. I'm just going to toss them out there like this. So, Lou, you're like, telling me to go look into the authors and stuff like that. So you're saying, like, the authors might have been able to temp with, like, or, uh, you know, change up a little bit of each story to be able to make it seem more believable. You think that they're sugarcoating some stuff to make it seem, make you seem worse, right? I wouldn't say sugarcoat. Like, just, if, if you, like I said, if you sat there with your I mean, Discord are and they? you took, like, no, you can see it for yourself. Like, yeah, like, you can see it for yourself. Dude, they're sitting there. What did they say to put in to when they were saying to Keemstar Aura, like, oh, when we're going to send this to Keemstar, what, what do you got to throw in here? Add this part. Michelle's grooming allegations. Michelle's grooming allegations. And it's like, uh -huh. okay, like, there's, I don't know if you heard that. Uh, uh, did you did you all hear me? Did everyone hear me? What yeah, did you say? I, I, he, he said he, he said that when they wanted when they were talking about going to Keemstar, they asked yeah. Omrecker, "Did you make sure to include the grooming allegations?" Right? They were they were hyping it up for Keemstar so he can give it attention. Then we all know like that Keemstar days. jumps on these stories when he hears grooming or pedo because it's instant clickbait for people. Alrighty. You said, like I said, you said you had an open mind. I'm just throwing out possible scenarios. Like, not, to, not, look at, I'm not, and look at, I'm not even touching the ID thing. Like, hey, the IDs, you could have been got, yeah, that, that's true. But no, like, not, not even that ID thing. Like, fuck the ID thing. It could have just been like, I have a, like, if I had my, <laughs> one of my, like, these girls I was talking to, cause, like, I'll tell you, there are some girls, like, I own you. And this is something that Ohm didn't say, and I have it in my DMs. But after this had happened, Ohm talked, one of his friends and I had relations, okay? And Ohm knew that. Ohm went to this person, asked this person, Do you, was, how did Louis treat you? How was Louis towards you? Blah, 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 blah. She said, he was a gentleman. Like, I was good. I was cool. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Like, super nice. Didn't do anything like that. He said, look at these allegations. She said, Bullshit. I know him. He's not like that. Like, this seems super stupid. Did you ever hear Ohm talk about another person that he talked to saying that Louis was like, he heard this and he's conflicted because he believes these strangers and one of his close friends, he doesn't, like, he believes too? Did you ever hear Ohm talk about that or no? Uh, no. Like I said, I have it in my DMs. The thing is, this person, like, I've never identified, didn't want to, like, I have people that wanted to speak on my behalf and stuff, and it's like, no, like it's fine. I don't need anyone else to get involved. They don't need to put their lives, their personal information, all that stuff on the line just to say, he's cool. It wasn't like that. I believe the stories are far-fetched. But I say it because if you go through their screenshots, you look at some of the conversations, even stuff that Cyan has deleted and stuff, they were all planning. They all had an agenda. And every time I talked to them about, hey, I'm right here. Do you want to talk about it or not? They kept throwing, what about that girl? What about the girl in the very beginning of the document? And I said, I will handle it when I need to handle it. But for you, since you guys made this public, because that person didn't, they kept themselves anonymous. I'm talking to you right now. Do you want to say or do something or not? And I get no responses from them. All they kept doing is pushing their agenda, which was, this girl, this girl, this girl. So I feel if you had looked at the whole scope of things, 
before you like if you read it backwards and you got a feeling from who they were who they are and how they do things they even wanted to go to you which i understand why crow thought that you had talked to chrissy and that's another thing too these she cyan tried to use liz like liz had posted like you know she said something about me that that wasn't cool because she said like i slid into her dms or whatever and i didn't it was actually the opposite and um it wasn't anything bad. We didn't beef or anything, but she said that. Chrissy said he likes to do that, doesn't he? And I'm just like, what the fuck? I didn't even slide into her DMs. We just kind of talked about life, and she was the one who messaged me. Um, Crow, I don't know if I showed you that. I did show, I did show, um, and this isn't any beef. This isn't any beef with Liz or anything like that at all. But Cyan jumped on that and said, oh my gosh, he actually used me against you. He said, how come I don't pose like you? And I'm like, what a fucking, like, opportunist. Like, she for real tried to, like, use that. Like, oh, because, like, she goes, when Louis presumably sit in your DMs, he also would use you to hurt me. I'm like, what the fuck is this now? Like, and at the same time in this document, they're talking about hurting Delirious, hurting 4-0, hurting basically, hurting Wildcat. And they're saying all that shit there, right? And at the same time, they're like, hey, girlfriends and wives of Louis' friends, like with smiles on their faces, like, oh, we have no part in this. Like, how old? Like, Sara said, like, congratulations to, to Liz when she announced that she was pregnant again. But it's like, dude, you were sitting there in the chest saying, oh, my gosh, the big bad group that everybody loves. Everyone, they're going to get destroyed and taken down. And it's like, wait, how are you smiling to their girlfriends and stuff like that, knowing that you're going to put their their baby daddies, their lives, like, at risk. But pretend that that didn't happen. You don't find any problem with that at all? Like, you don't think that's weird at all? Or did you not know about this? I didn't know about any of that. Look, so I Louis, get, look, I get, look, 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 that it's that one thing that's right out of the whole document. I, I get that stance. I totally do. But because I know these people, I know my side. I just thought, hey, the, like, I, I, like, you know, like I said, I'm not even going to spit that bullshit like, this is my truth. No, I fucking know the truth. <laughs> I, I know, I know my, I know everything. So I'm just kind of like, yo, seeing it like this, like, I get it. You think this is like, the, you, you have the opinion that this might be the one, like, yeah, they might be right on this one. But I'm like, if you saw everything, I don't know, your mind might change. Your, you might change your mind because it's just like, there's no fucking way that you believe Louis, that this happened uh, the way it did. Louis, I've stated before, once I go through the rest of the document and they're not holding, if it's not holding up and the evidence isn't strong enough and all this stuff and then all that other stuff, I, I have no problem sitting here, sitting here and changing my mind on the beginning part. And having a better perspective of the entire thing. But that's once I get into more of the document and make videos about other docu parts of the document, like I said I was going to do, and I have yet to do that. So what all you what you might have been rambling about for a while now could very possibly be true. And I'm hoping this live stream stays up so I can go back and watch it and It'll line stay it up. up with other stuff. It'll stay Alrighty. Up. Okay, so I can go back and line it up with some of the stuff you're saying, and you could very well might be true about all of this, and I could owe you apology down the line for, you know, misrepresenting you and all that other stuff, but what I believe and what I saw out of there, in my opinion, still lines up, even to this day, that I believe that first part has some weight to it with how you treated her and that she very well could be underage. And the rest of the document could be absolute bullshit, and everything else you're saying could be absolute bullshit. That shit, that stuff just takes time, and that's stuff that I'm going to have to look more into down the road, and I will keep an open mind for it, like I have before. But, like I said, I think all this rambling about all this other stuff that isn't really clicking for me as fast as it might be clicking for, like, Crow, because Crow probably knows more about what you're talking about, but I have no idea about a lot of these circumstances that you're talking about in these situations. It's just something that you're going to have to wait instead of just jumping fingers saying, oh, yeah, you're a piece of shit for calling me a pedo. But I'm like, OK, I've looked at one part of the document and I'm in the pro progress of like looking at the rest of the document right now. Um, TJ, can I ask you a question? Go for it. All right, um, th this is mostly about the question of like open mindedness and everything. Um, you were watching our stream last night. I know you were in the chat. Um, how much yeah. did you kind of hear? Um... 
I was there. How long was your stream? Yeah, I was, it was there like, for. It was like three hours plus. I probably was there for about an hour, maybe towards the end, maybe. Okay. Um, the thing I wanted to ask you is, um, and I, I said it during the stream. One thing I think that you would agree with me on is when things are taken out of context. It's one of the main criticisms you had of Omewrecker was that he was taking things out of context to go after people in the Vanos crew, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you've gone through the first part of the Google Doc, which is the underage evidence, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you went through those messages with the uh, between uh, the Snapchat between Louie and the girl um, who is accusing him, right? You mm-hmm. did notice that those messages cut off, like they they're not sequential at all, right? Yeah. So, and, I, yeah. and I saw your argument to that, um, and it, it does hold very well that, yes, there aren't, like, a ton of uh, messages here that aren't, like, one after another. You don't see them continuing. They're very pulled out of certain circumstances from the time they were texting each other. So mm-hmm. out of context, yes, I see that. Okay, um, the next, but, the, but before you say anything, the next thing I was going to point out to you is... And you played the uh, video in your original video, the one that we had criticized you for, um, of her scrolling through the Snapchat conversations, right? Yeah. To show that she had them on her phone. She she had the entire chat on her phone. Um, and she we, we pointed out that there were messages that she clearly did not include in that Google Doc, right? Yeah. Um, according to her, she informed Louie not once, but multiple times of her age, right? But... None of those messages are available, and she says she has none of them. Um, it, do you find that at all suspicious? Yeah, very suspicious. Okay, so when we talk about being open-minded and everything, we agree that that is very suspicious, but you still think that Louis is a pedo. And when I asked you um, if Louis uh, went to court, right, and Louis is exonerated, the jury says not guilty, you still think the jury is wrong. How is that being open-minded? I guess that's what uh, Louis was trying to ask you earlier, and it kind of got glossed over. I, I'm trying to figure out um, how it's being open-minded if we acknowledge that there are problems with the first part of the Google Doc. And can I, you, real quick, Croak, to add yeah. to your point, can I mention like another one? Like I, yeah. we went over this before. Like um, it's it's not just that the context is chopped and skewed to fit the narrative. She also told Cyan that she did nothing to really engage. But, you know, I think, uh, TJ, you also addressed that the minor did engage and it was fucked up. She shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Parents should have been involved, right? So, like, we all agree on that. Um, And uh, what else is it? Uh, The dick pic thing. I'm not going to let that go. <laughs> like, so either the minor... Yeah, it wasn't a dick pic. Hand. Exactly, yeah. So, like, I'm glad we can agree on that. If that so so we, we have um, evidence that is messages that are out of context we have a claim that one of those photos was a dick pic and it was not right Um, and we we have we have an inconsistency with her own statement on top of it all right i mean that's that's three things right off the bat right there's something you shouldn't i'm sorry go ahead uh, yeah sorry sorry so, th- so this is ma- mainly off the point, and I want to bring up Crow's point. You said that here, and said that if I, if a jury ended up saying that he wasn't guilty, I would still think he's guilty. I I don't think I ever stated that. I remember our conversation about a jury. We I think we were both bringing up the point that l- juries can be wrong, but I never sat here and stated that if a jury sat here and said Louis was not guilty, I would not believe that. I've never made that statement specifically. But I'm what what I was more referring to in this entire. Uh, topic was that there are messages that are out of context and there was you know um, a little bit of an over explanation of like okay he sent a dick pic but it wasn't a dick pic and all this other stuff the argument I was making was that there was still inappropriate messages sent to this girl and if this girl's underage it, it would make him into a pedo and I and it all goes back to do you believe this person was a minor or not and I believe the person was a minor now again if I am end up being wrong about it then it's just inappropriate messages being sent to another girl and that's private messages that probably should have never uh, came out and all that other stuff and at that point I would make a statement about that but I believe the person was underage and then those inappropriate messages should have never happened and that was the main point of my video um, Crow, I want to add something on top of the things that also make it shaky, the yeah. first part included. 
that this document was pushed by the people that we did cover, that we did have the screenshots of their secret uh, Discord group chat when they conspire and say, make sure you put the group. Their intentions are malicious. Their intentions are to get the hooks through the means of grooming allegations, pedophilic allegations. I can see their intentions in this, making this document a hit piece. You know well, what I, I mean? I, I, yeah. I mean, or is correct about that. The, 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 and just to continue that on and pile on to that is that when we talk about like um, Louis had kind of said like their conversations, right? Um, potentially um, that could not be how those two started talking, right? Um, you did realize when um, when I got contacted by an advocate for those girls, right? The advocate gave me screenshots of a conversation between those girls and Omrecker that painted Omrecker in the worst possible light, right? Now, later, Omrecker released more of the conversation, which showed that they were instructing Omrecker to go and lie on their behalf, right? They will use messages out of context. They did it to Omrecker. Now, Omrecker's a piece of shit. I don't fucking like him, right? But they, they did it to Omrecker, too. They've done it to multiple people. And the thing is, the screenshots of that minor girl, right, that the girl claiming to be a minor and everything and all that stuff, those are out of context. And, you know, when you go through the rest of the Google Doc, um, like we did last night, you're going to see that the um, that the chats, right, the ones that you, that you said earlier you had seen, and that's why you think Louis treats women poorly, those are also out of context because it's literally just one snapshot of a conversation. And the thing is, I mean, the reason why it's so fucked up is Louis bringing up that he's trying to spend time with this kid, right? And I'm like, I, I don't... <sighs> The, there, there's a pattern of behavior with these girls. There is, right? Not just in how they act, but in how they present things to go after Louie. And it's been rather consistent. And when they, you know, went to throw Omrecker under the bus, they did the exact same shit to Omrecker. They took their conversations and released segments of it out of context to make it look like Omrecker uh, uh, was this terrible, awful person when in reality, they're all terrible, awful people. That's when I, I, I think, because Louis saying, like, you need to look into the people putting these, putting the evidence together. A at the end of the day, um, you know, if, if Keemstar comes out with an allegation that someone's a pedophile, right? I mean, we know Keemstar's track record. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't just say, oh, well, I mean, he made the claim and he's got a screenshot here. I guess we just, we trust him. Like, the thing is, um, the, the, the evidence against uh, Louis, the, the minor evidence, right? At the end of the day, you have to trust that this anonymous person is telling the truth when she says, I inform Louis not once, but multiple times of my age, right? You have to take her out of word. If Louis comes out and says, this never happened, right? Um, so he said, she said. It's literally a he said, she said. But however, I, Crow, to your yeah. point as well, that uh, you, know, you would have to take her out of word. However, like I, we just went over, we found inconsistencies in what she's saying. I never engaged. Yes, you did. Um, this is a dick pin, and she may or may not have scribbled that. It still could be cyan, but if she did that, she lied about a dick pic. She says, I cannot prove things, you know what I mean? Like, but she's saying all this stuff happened, like he jacked off in a yeah. video call. But yeah, it, that. the, the thing is, she's made these claims, right? And we can point out areas where she has, at best, been very inconsistent, at worst, flat out lied, right? Um, can you point to parts of where Louis is being inconsistent with his story? Because at the end of the day, it's a credibility question, but one of these people has an issue with their credibility at this point. And that, yeah, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about Cyan and the other girl. They obviously have issues with their credibility. I'm speaking about specifically just this person, just the accuser. There is issues with her credibility, right? It's been pointed out. You agree on the issues with the credibility. Why would you then be okay taking her at her word when she's flat out telling you she cannot prove it and not trust what Louis is saying? He's muted, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> like, look at I can't see anything. I'm not. I'm on the phone. Yeah, he's, he went muted like a while. 
two minutes ago. Okay, well, I hope he, I, he was here. He like, he, <laughs> I hope she was here for all uh, that. I hope he, was, he, he like heard it though, right? Like, did he Hopefully. message anybody? Is he... Um, oh, no. I'm sorry, I'm talking about my mom about making mac and cheese. Give me a minute. Oh, all right. I really want mac and cheese now. The fuck? Yeah, I do, bro. Like, I want I want mac and cheese mac attack, dog. Yeah, bro. <sighs> mac and cheese mac attack. Whatever. I hate this document. And I hate these women who made this document. Okay, I, I might have to go have some dinner with my family. Um, but what what I will say about the this situation um is if you know I look more into the document and more is looking more suspicious among the authors and the accuser and all this other stuff. Um, obviously there'll be an open mind for like a bit of a mind change and stuff like that, but I'm still going to go through the rest of the document and, uh, discuss it, but my opinions are still withheld, um, on how I feel about the situation, which many people here have agreed that we're just going to have to be at a difference of opinion and that's completely fine. Um, and th that's just how I view it, but I can take maybe another question or two if anyone had a question, but if not, I, I do got to go dip to have some dinner. I mean, they, they would take up time. I did want to go over some things, but it's not really important because we kind of glossed over it by proxy. So it's whatever. Uh, anybody else have anything? No. Well, Crow is basically just asking why you would take someone's word if their credibility has been proven to be kind of shaky. I mean, it's not really taking someone's word. It's looking at, you know, what well, no, was no, no, presented no. so far. Said, said. Well, no, no, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say anything. It, you have to take her out of word because she said multiple times and inform Louie of my age, but I don't have any of these screenshots, right? You, you would have to take her at her word that she's telling the truth there. But we've already pointed out issues with her credibility. If Louie's saying that's not true, why would you trust her and not what Louie's telling you? Look, I, all I was doing was looking at the Google document, the underage evidence. I'm looking at the screenshots and all the messages and all the other stuff there. And I came to my own opinion based off what I saw there. I have yet to be able to sit here and go through everything else. Well, are, are you disagreeing with what I'm saying, though? Well, again, once I look more into it, my my I might be able to agree with you more, but I have yet to look into that. I mean, am I supposed to sit here and just trust you right now, Crow? And yeah, yeah, Crow, everything you're saying is truth. I, I you, believe you right looked, now. It, well, no, stop, 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 stop. No. You you've looked into the minor evidence, yes, right? You you you, yes. you have. Okay, this yes. is part. This is just part of that. This isn't about the rest of the Google Doc. I'm specifically stating that she says I have no proof that I inform Louis of my age. But I did do it multiple times. Yes, have, and I've, okay, made, so I've made you, a statement about that. So you, you have to take her at her word that she did. Yes or no? Uh, are you take her as a word, believe her, or? I'm saying you have to take her at her word on the statement that she informed Louis of her age. Okay, yes. Okay, so why would you take her at her word? given the issues with the credibility, as you've already agreed to. And when Louis says that's not true, you wouldn't take him at his word. Because we're literally can, talking I, about I, a he I, said, I, I she I can take said. both people at their word and still form an opinion on who I believe. Well, what are you forming it on? He, he believes what? the girl who has inconsistencies and has lied and misrepresented yeah. things. Yeah, but I, I want to know why he One way that. to put it. Well, I mean, that, that, that is quite literally That's the only what way. you're saying, dude. Like, I, I'm not trying to, like, do a gotcha or anything. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you're coming to your opinion. I looked at the underage part of the document, okay. and I formed an opinion. And part of that document is her saying that she informed Louis of her age, yes? Which we've what? seen no, no evidence to, yes. Okay, so then you would have to take her at her word that she did do this, right? Right. Okay. And Louis saying that so you have to say you have to say Crow. That I, I mean I, I feel like I feel like I'm having evidence. to be like hyper specific here. And I I, I mean I, I think everybody else <laughs> understands oh what I'm saying. God. So yeah, no, I mean no, I mean like the, I don't I just I, I don't want to like go around in a circle you say you like gotta go get food and everything. I, I think everybody kind of understands what I'm saying. So yeah. if yeah, at this point I'm I'm let's, good. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's. Uh, I think this is as far we're gonna get. Send this is your yeah. show.
Oh, so you make oh that's fine. Keep going as long as you guys. Need. Let's, then, <laughs> he's he's right back right now. popcorn right now. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just. Well, I, it's nuggets, bro. Get it right. Nuggets. All right. Well, I, I think you know. I think this is as far as we're gonna get. I think we no, no, said. But, but the way I see it, the way I see it is, oh, this shit, person no, no. has been. No, this person has been proven to have lied. Like in her own words, this person has proven to lie. But I'm gonna believe this person. I'm not saying like I haven't lied or I lied, nothing like that at all. But it's like a proven liar is believed. That's what I'm hearing. That's it. I mean, that 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 is the thing, right? Like, if you think Louis is a pedo, right? You have to believe what this girl is telling you, even though we know that she has been dishonest. Not maybe not about that one thing, but we can point to at least one thing that she has been dishonest about. Sorry. So you would have to take the word of someone who is dishonest in order to call Louis a pedophile. I just, I, I mean, like, I, 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 I don't understand. I'm that. just going to leave. Uh, I'm going to leave it with I disagree, strongly disagree, but like, yeah. it's whatever. There you go. I, that's my closing argument because I really have nothing to add. I think everyone has to go. Uh, it's already like 930. I think we've been streaming for a few hours. Uh, so, too. Oh, I can oh, smoke too. weed again. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 do, I, I only wanted to stop and ask a couple questions. I, I've just been listening the entire time, and I got to spend time with my wife, so I'm, yeah. I'm good to catch that's, up, too. Yeah, cool, it's so about the same. So like, I, I think it, no, if you are, I'm not going. Like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> there's no fucking way that that's going to happen. No. no, bro. I need to get KFC or something. Cause... I don't know who Zombie yeah. Fox is, but he's mad. Zombie Fox? Zombie Fox. Yeah. Fox is mad. Why is Zombie Fox mad? What is what's going, on? About the computer. what's going on, Fox? What's he saying? Uh, I'm about to lose it. I'm fuming oh. right now. I have uh -oh. to believe Louie right now. Zombie, just yeah, zombie, just chill. We got yeah, somebody, right, chill out. Con, Con Luca yeah. is saying prison mate TV TJB. Do you have anything to say to that, TJ? Okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> yeah. Wait, are you actually friends with Luke? Um, no, not really. I mean, I a while ago, Luke hit me up. He saw that I was making videos about mini a long time ago, so I he hit me I up. Didn't, didn't he, like, wait, wait, wait the whole, I did have a question actually because I totally forgot about this. Did he uh, ever like uh give you credit in a video or anything like that? I, I had heard that, I don't know if it's true or not. At one point, yeah, I mean, I think he saw a video of mine and referenced it or whatever. I'm uh, one at one point, I made a like a 24 hour live stream of watching like a disgusting mini lad video of him doing a chip challenge Jeez. and snotting all over himself. And oh, I watched God. it for 24 hours straight. And I think he mentioned that and then another video of mine or something like that. And he liked the video. Um, I do, I do have a question now that I remember. Everybody uh, well, has a question. Not <laughs> well, let, let me, let me get no my bullshit out the way. It's not important. All right. Like, so fucking TJ, I got a question. How, how, how did you feel? How did you react, right? After our stream where you said it could be Bill Cosby and like two days later he got out of prison. How did you feel about that? I was freaked <laughs> the fuck out. <laughs> oh, really weird. <laughs> really weird. That was a great I was freaked the fuck out. I was like, that's fucked up, you know? I was like, like two, three, maybe three days later, Bill Cosby gets released from fucking prison after that joke. That's fucking insane to me. So I'm just like, oh, special fucking powers. Great. It's special powers? nuts. Yeah. I don't know. I, just, I was curious. Now that you're actually fucking here. You know what? Who, no, whoever dude. invoked Bill Cosby's name on that stream is the reason why he got out of prison. It was TJ. That's why I was like, how the fuck did he know it was TJ. Bill <laughs> I brought up Bill Cosby? <laughs> You're like, you're like, I don't know who it could be. It could be Bill Cosby for all we knew. That's why I thought it was funny. And when I heard he got out, I was like, I don't know if I brought it up. I think, I think I someone else you. brought it up. I, 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 I can't remember. I TJ. don't think I brought it up. That was funny. You actually made me laugh. Like, no, I'm giving you props, dog. You actually made me laugh. Like, I was no, like, no, I was no, 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 no. I get it. And I would love to take the credit, but I don't think I actually brought up Bill Cosby. I don't think he's even in my vocabulary just to bring up a random name. You know, I, 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 I wouldn't promise, even dude. attempt to bring him up. <laughs> But yeah, I hey, link it, link it to me yeah. and let me know. I, I mean, maybe I should bring it up. What? All right, you have a real question. Sorry, sorry. Right. Fuck my bullshit. I'm a mute. Go ahead. Because <laughs> TJ said that, like, you know, there's a power dynamic, and fans shouldn't be, or content creators shouldn't be talking to fans a certain way, right? Right. TJ, you had said in your thing that like 
just power dynamic and like content creators or whatever shouldn't be talking to their fans, like flirting with their fans or something like that. That's what you said, right? I think, yeah, I think that's a little weird. Didn't you flirt with some married girl in your Discord that was a fan? Mary girl? A married girl. A married girl? Yeah, um, with a married woman in your Discord, I think that's what he's asking. I yep. have no idea. I don't think so, no, because I normally don't flirt with girls on my Discord. Are you sure? I'm 100% positive. I'd, I'd be careful. I think Louie <laughs> archives shit like crazy. Did, did he try to go dig something up on me real quick because he's mad at I, me? I don't, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm just saying. If he, if he asked a question, maybe I he's mean, got it. I, I never flirted the with any married street. girl. There's definitely been a time or two where someone's tried to accuse me of that bullshit, but it's, you know, obviously haven't been proven or anything because that ain't true. All right, give me a second then. Let me see if you can tell me oh, in another time and space. Oh, okay. I thought you okay. were going to pull up a receipt or something. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Yeah. Kind of. Hmm. Give me un segundo, por favor. That means give I, just, I, I, I am legitimately I, curious now. Yeah, what the fuck is going on, Louie? Oh, no, I just felt it was, like, really weird, because, like, if... Why? Well, I, I don't know. He said he wasn't, like, what's it called? Something that I should have done. But I was like, wait, didn't you do that? Well, I mean, okay, so TJ's saying that he never did that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't go out of my way to flirt with the girls in my Discord. Okay. TJ, how do you so, feel I mean, about I, uh, maple syrup real quick? Somebody is saying something about maple syrup in the in the chat. Uh, maple syrup. Um, I mean, it goes good on pancakes. <laughs> yep, that it does. Uh, Zombie says, wasn't this your Discord drama with Vex? Uh, Vex was an old admin brought on by one of my good friends, Abby. Um, Abby's no longer in my Discord, though. And Vex was trying to cause a bunch of issues. She was married to some other guy who tried destroying my Discord after we wanted to demote her because she was mistreating a lot of members. A lot of my uh, other staff was like, oh, the power's hey, going to her head or whatever. Did she make allegations against you? Yeah, she did. She made she made a ton just because just because she was demoted and banned from my server. She started sitting here going on a tirade, messaging other members that were in my Discord, sitting here saying, "Oh, TJB did this to me," and then I was like, "Yeah, okay, I can show our entire DMs." Yeah, women can. Be <laughs> Why don't you do the same? Like that, bro. I feel that. Oh, right. They make Google Docs and shit, right? It's fucking crazy. <laughs> well, I was just saying in general. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying in general too. So. You know what I'm saying? You know what... <laughs> Shut up, Mora. Origami. Yeah. Origami. No, yeah. I mean, like that's that's a prime reason to question mean. shit because that would be an insane fucking. That'd be an insane fucking allegation right there. It's like I'm, that's all I'm saying. I mean, it's good shit. If they would have had a Google Doc, I would have went over it though. I'm just saying, I would have fucking went yeah, over that some shit. Some people uh, in chat said that um they're mad that you only read the first uh part tj yeah well, I think I'm, it's get, the chat. I, 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 I'm getting around to reading the rest of it when i read the rest of it my opinion very well could line up with everyone else's who has read it why is but... taking you so long to read it <sighs> a lot of shit Ohm's dms what oh my goodness Ohm's dms <laughs> there was a lot of dms to get through that i was making videos on there was a lot of other stuff that i was dealing with at the time I also have another uh, big video I'm working on, and then I'm going to do like a 48-hour challenge in my state capital here at the end of the month, so I'm going to try to get it done before then. Nice. 48-hour, huh? Damn. Yeah, it's like a short film movie challenge or something like that I'm going out to do. Right now we're doing like a lot of pre-production stuff for it, so I'm trying to get a lot of that done, but we'll see. Cool. Nice, nice. Uh, Louie, what the f- Wait, what are we- We're waiting for Louie to bring something up, right? Like, what the- what Wait, are we? I mean, yeah, Lou was doing a thing. He said he was, so I'm just kidding. Steve the Live. There you go. Do you have anything to add, Steve D Live? No. This TJ. stream went on for like a billion this years. This is the first again. time you talked yeah. to TJB, though, because before that, you talked to him like once. Yeah, just that one time. When he was still a good guy, now he's a bad guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big bad guy now. 
<laughs> yeah. the antagonist now, TJ. I guess I am. The antagonist. He's the he antagonist of this, uh, this anime. I hate this stupid anime shit. Yeah. Whatever. Same, I don't dude. know. Same. You're not alone Fuck there. Don't worry about it. What's <sighs> anime? Uh, it's, don't don't worry about it. It's better that you don't know, Steve. It's better that you I don't call him the antagonist. Yeah. Oh well, that's really just stories in general, though. This is not for anime. Well, like, that's the way. That's not that's how I knew the word from. perceive shit. The fuck? What kind of what? What do you? What are you even into? Like, I don't know. It doesn't matter. No, he that's what they taught us in Thrones, school. Obviously, in like English class, they'd be like, "This is an antagonist, and this is a protagonist." Yeah, that's fine, but like usually we bring that up. As a, like a, that's a weeb term, you know. I never heard. <laughs> I like don't talk English to weebs. Scholar. I don't know. Steve D. Lab. Yeah, you do. Who's you just don't know it. Who? Who's Steve the weebs that talk to? Crow, myself, I'm not a weeb. Sen. I'm not Crow a weeb. is never weeb. online. Crow's I, I, I look. I don't like this slander from from uh, from, from uh, Aura. Bro, what the look hell, at dude? your fucking Twitter. Look at your fucking Twitter where you bought like clogs and shit. You know, Japanese clogs. When the fuck are you gonna wear those? You're gonna sip like fucking sake and shit and walk Those are for my wife, dude. Shut the fuck up. Clogs? Like, what? Those are for my wife. What the fuck? No, I, yeah, bullshit. I call so much bullshit on you, dog. Like, fucking, uh, they're in your picture. I bought this for me. Fuck you. That was everything I bought at the convention. For my wife. What happened? It's, they're hers. They don't fit me, Hold dude. Hold on a second. What? I don't know. Is Santa Weeb? No. Sen is a weeb. Yes, he is. Look at his old content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sen's yeah, a total like, fucking weeb. I used to. I don't I know. Like, fuck this shit, bro. Shit gets He's never talked problems. about any weeb shit. TJB yeah. Weeb 2021. Uh, I don't know what that's in a reference to. Uh, TJB being a weeb. weeb. TJB Weeb 2021 question. It's okay. Be- being a weeb is a good thing. Wait, are you sure that we're waiting for Louis to bring something up? Because he's been gone. For I'm almost three. sure he would have left. I yeah, mean, yeah, he would have. Kind of a mute, and it's been like three. Maybe days. he went out to his car to get it. The fuck? <laughs> uh, Shut maybe. up, Steve. God damn. You never know. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this. All right. Okay. All right. I'll mute. Tell me if you can. A pretty okay. good job. She had a lot of experience with Discord. She taught me a lot. And she taught others a lot. But what he's referring to us talking is that she decided that she wanted to flirt with me, and I didn't mind flirting back, and it was just a little bit of harmless flirting that happens online from time to time. This is where I understand that some girls are just absolutely crazy, and you cannot simply just flirt with them online because they will take things way too far. And I don't mean way too Okay, I just want to stop right there for a second. Because you just said that you didn't flirt with anyone in your Discord, and then right there you said you did. I just want to point out that inconsistency. And I felt that, wait a second, I was told by you that I shouldn't flirt with any, like, you know, because there's a power dynamic and stuff. So I find it weird that it was okay for you to do it, but not okay for me to do it. Wait, Livy, who is oh, that no. referencing again? Who is hold that on, in my Discord? Whoa, whoa, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is that talking I, I... about in my Discord? Wait, no, wait, this, wait, this, wait, this, wait. this this will all go to a halt and, and Louis, well, my bad. My but bad. You, you're saying it, in Louis, that, who is you're that? saying in that clip that you were flirting back. Wow, wow, Crow. Good, good. We all heard that. Now, Louis, who was Bro, I? Don't, don't, Louis, don't, don't Louis, who was I? Louis, who was I? Who was that? Um, I believe her real name is Ruby. Ruby, right? Okay, so that's referencing to Vex. So Vex was a member of my Discord. She was an admin. Remember you were telling me about before though, like the, the semantics doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you said that you didn't flirt with her like well, I don't know, five minutes ago, and then right here you said you did flirt with her. And now there's gonna be a is there gonna be an asterisk that you can flirt with her under these circumstances that you're gonna explain right now? Or she DM'd me, always trying to sit here and flirt. She would sit here in group chats all the time, especially with other staff, that, well, hey, you, you look cute today before. or whatever. And I would sit here and say, thanks, you look cute too. That would be, I, be I, most of the flirting right there. I don't know, but it got too far to a point where you're saying that, like, it started getting sexual and stuff. So, like, that, just saying was. you have cute hair, like, wait a second. Hold on. Is there more to that clip? Oh my god! Oh my god! Louis did so much. It's part. It's part of a YouTube video I made. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm just the thing is absolutely it, nothing. But he no, goes, no, "Oh my no, god, no. I got TJV now." He flirted with someone. Oh, oh my god, but T -T -J, oh, TJ, 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 TJ. You did it. You did though. No, like, relax. Come out. Hey, 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 Sen, you look really cute today. Oh, whoops, we're Thank in the Discord you. server. Uh, goddamn. Uh, I'm caught now. Uh, yikes. Is this 4K, oh, no. TJ? Is it 4K? Caught in 4K. I just flew to with Sen in our Discord. I'm caught Damn, now. No, Good job, not, baby. Detective skills not, uh, at the most. It's not about catching. Like, I don't, I don't know what this is all about. Like, these whole, like, there's, there's a huge difference between, there's a huge difference it. between <laughs> just me, like, just simply Lying talking to someone in a Discord. Lying in the truth, yes, but talking to someone in a Discord and going out of your way to flirt with people I don't, in the I, I don't care that you flirted. I don't. I don't care well, that you why, flirted. Why, with why, the why bring it up then? I, I, because I you was the whole point. Did you did, did you not yeah. understand the context? Okay, look at I you told said, you I I think no, it's no. a little weird that you were flirting with your fans and I just flirted with someone who was a fan because it was in wasn't server. a fan. This person wasn't a fan. <laughs> At like, the time so my Discord was even created, I wasn't even as big as I was. They didn't know anything about my content or anything else. It wasn't a fan. But someone that comes into your like like your Discord, it's not anyone else's. It's not my content. Is it, not is it my personal? Content. Is it somebody a personal friend or something? Yeah, it was more of a personal friend than anything else. What was the point of this? What was the point of this? Now there's two points. One was you said you didn't fit someone. And now you said you did flirt with someone. So that's a lie. That was a lie. You said, no, you didn't. Yes, you did. Now it's it's just harmless flirting. That's fine. I don't care what it was. But you said no, and it ended up being yes. And it stayed as yes. No, Louie. What the difference is, is that you flirted one's with someone truth, who was a lie. fan of yours. Louie. You flirted with someone that was a fan of yours. I flirted with someone who was a close friend that joined my Discord that wasn't a fan of my content, had no idea what my content was, didn't know I was big or not, which I wasn't big at the time. And it was just someone that I knew, and it was the most harmless amount of flirting that there was. There's a huge difference between that. But you're going to well, sit here and try to say, made. gotcha, because there's both flirting no, no, in both no. situations. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. You're, you're trying to put context in my mouth. And that's not the point I'm making. The whole point was a power dynamic. If you go back, I talk about a power dynamic. That's your Discord. No one else's. You're in charge, right? Like if you're the manager of the place, you talk about having staff and everyone and hiring people for your Discord or whatever. Wouldn't you find that wrong in your own morality because of a power dynamic that it's your server, you're in charge, that you shouldn't be flirting with that person? TJ? Uh, I'm, I'm so confused on what point you're trying to make here. Because I'm in charge of a Discord that had like 100 members at the time. It doesn't matter how many members... Power well, yeah, yeah. Well, you kind of want to talk about the scale of the power dynamic. I mean, there can be the, the most minute power dynamic, or there could be something very large. I mean, there's a difference between me having a million subs and adding someone on Snapchat and having inappropriate conversations, well, and there's okay, also okay, a difference okay, between you yeah, having okay. a very small Discord. Well, I, I guess I'm sorry. I, I'm not, I'm going to head out only because I, I just. <laughs> like, I, 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 I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm sorry, TJ. I'm just going to say one thing really quick to you. When we were doing our uh, stream that you were on for, right, I had asked you about, like, um, had anyone in your audience ever sent death threats, right? And you had told me no, right? Then later on in the stream, probably like an hour later, you had mentioned about the time the FBI had been called, right? And you had to, like, talk to them because, reportedly, somebody had accused you or some something like that because your audience had sent them death threats, right? You had said it during our stream. My, the only reason why I'm bringing this up is... I, I, I have this thing where, like, you talk and you get, like, super dismissive. Um, and I just want to bounce out of here. I just want to mention that one point because I... I mm... Did he what? just die was he... like that? I think he yeah, was trying to make so. a point and then dip and seem cool, but it, it, it didn't really work out because... Wait, or I think you wanted the to point say, that he brought or up was you wanted to say something because I saw you interject, just... like, multiple times. Okay, so, so I, I was going to try and simplify it to this point because I think the what TJ's saying, there's a big and little power scale, there's, so there's a difference. 
So what would be the difference if the manager at like McDonald's said he wanted a blowjob from a coworker compared to Harvey Weinstein? They're both equivocally bad, right? Yes. There, I don't really see, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding that point where you're like, well, it's a big and little power dynamic isn't a well, power dynamic. It's just well, that. well, if you want to listen, there was pretty much no power dynamic even at play when this whole okay. thing was going on. Literally, this person named Vex would hop into chats and sit here and try to right. compliment and at people in a Discord chat sitting here saying, right. you look cute today. And in reply, someone would say here and say, you look cute too. There might have been something small like that in a group chat between me and other staff members back in the very first week the d Discord was made. But that's all it was. But like, I, I mean... Uh, so you can kind besides, of see that there's not really any power dynamic there at play. It isn't like, you know, I hold power over Vex, so Vex is going to sit here and do this, this, and that. It was something very okay. minute, very small, and it wasn't even tied to the Discord or anything else. It was a separate group chat. I, I see. Because I, I think when I asked when I asked on. when you flirted with someone in your Discord, you said no. Why didn't you just say yeah? But it wasn't that big. It was a small, minute little compliment about her hair. I mean, I was probably more referencing that I never go out of my way to sit here and flirt with anyone. But if someone sat here and gives me a compliment, I give them a compliment back. So boom, that's classified as flirting. Well, when you're saying I, I I don't have I don't have someone Snapchat and I don't sit here and flirt with them, you know. Um, I don't somebody know. wants to know. Somebody wants to know if Haley would be considered a fan as well. Uh, me and Hallie aren't even dating, and I don't really consider her as a fan. Really, I don't think she considers herself as a fan either. I mean, we didn't even start a I, conversation. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even answer that. Don't answer that because I don't remember if this is a thing or not. Because I think you did talk about it on live stream, which, um, and I don't remember this, so you could correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if you said Holly reached out to you because she was a fan of your mini lab videos, so that could be misconstrued. So I just wouldn't even answer that because I don't remember it, um, and that could be the case, and people might throw that in your face, TJ. So don't don't even fucking respond to that. Or as my lawyer, there's nothing really to hide. I don't <laughs> mind responding to it. It's just yeah, I know. I mean, but still, like, I don't know if you call even doing that, and that's. Like, you know, just, just saying, just giving you some advice. I mean, uh, you can give me advice all you want, but these are just like small little arguments that don't carry any weight with it. I mean, the whole reason why right, Louie probably brought it up in the first place anyway is because he's salty that I sat here and I said, I think it's weird for him to flirt with some of his fans. You and then he goes, oh, wait, TJ. Oh, you you can ask me if I feel that way. I'm right here. Uh, do you feel that way? No, I don't care. I, okay. Okay. I, I I, uh, for whole, you don't care, but you went out of your way to find an old video of mine. Oh, I didn't. Right I didn't go out of my way. Face. No, I didn't go out of my way. For one, how, that's how an old assumption. is that video? How old is that video, Louis? I'm not too sure. Uh, you you just had it up. You just played it. Oh, I played a clip. I didn't play like a whole video. Oh, okay, let me let me find that video real quick for you. Let's bring up. But, how but let me tell is. you though, I don't really care what people think about me. Okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been on YouTube in the first place. Alrighty. And for a little over a year, I've been called the most horrendous names. And I'm not in a closet hanging by a rope. So I really don't care what anyone has to say about me. What I like asking, though, is questions like you wanted to ask. So like, I'm just kind of like, wait a second. Because as much as you made videos on me, you don't think you have fans or we share like a fan base that would send certain things to me about you? TJ? Sorry, what was that? You don't think I... Uh, you think that I don't have fans that would send certain things to you? Yeah. No, I feel like fans probably will send stuff to you if I say something about it. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's like you said, I had to go look hard for certain things. Like, you don't think people have, like, sent me stuff. Oh, TJ's done oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. But, they, I mean, they've done the same thing before. I mean, 
there might be people that want to send stuff back and forth. I mean, I was talking to Sen the other day about it. There's this kid named Valley who was banned from my Discord server, and he's going around spreading the most heinous yeah, things about me. That guy he's... is with you. Valley, oh my no, god. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, well, again, yeah. there's going to be people who are so upset and, and, and so, you know, distraught that I sat here and I dared to ban them, and I had to tell them that, hey, you broke my rules, and they're, and they're so upset about it, they're going to do their best to sit here and say the worst thing about me, and Louis, People if the worst crazy. thing that you did was, oh yeah, you complimented this girl in a group chat, um, but you said that you you don't flirt with people in, in your own Discord. Uh, TJ, you're, you're kind of in, in fault here. I, I'm just gonna sit here and laugh about it and be like, okay, I'll bring up that argument because that probably will be the best argument you can have against me, and I don't care if you want to argue that against me at all. No, that that's not it, the it, point. The the, the thing then was just about why'd you honest... bring it up. I, like I said, there was two points. There was only one point, and it was because you said that someone that like there should not be a power dynamic. You don't like like the power dynamic thing. So it's like, wait, this is a power dynamic because that's your server. That's no one else's server. You weren't in a friend server on equal ground with everyone else. Assuming you weren't like a moderator or anything else, you were there as someone's server, and you guys just started talking and chatting and stuff. If it was enough to make a video over to try to, whether it was defend yourself of certain allegations or whatever, the thing is, you owned a server, and you flirted with someone in your server that you owned, like your establishment, it's your place, no matter how big or small the dynamic was. I just wanted to know where you drew the line. So that's, that's why I asked. And then when you said you never flirted with someone... Now that was a lie, because then you admit that you did. I clarified that I never went out of my way to flirt with anyone. I think his point yeah. was that you said you didn't at all generally, but you kind of did. So and that's I what I think my point. Going. That it wasn't as big as a deal as like major flirting, but it's flirting regardless. Am I yeah, getting this wrong? It's a compliment. Yeah, 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 it's a compliment. Hey, real fast, if I had a glass of water and I spilled it out. And then someone asked Another me, did you Louis spill out? <laughs> let me finish. Let, let, me, let me finish. I'm really good with analogies. Yeah. I, I like had it. a glass of water, and I spilled it on the floor. And then Aura asked me, did you spill that glass of water? And I said, no. And then he shows me a video of me spilling that glass of water. I can't clarify no to a yes by saying, well, I tilted my wrist, and it fell out. So I didn't really spill it. It, it kind of just fell out. But I it's didn't like, spill it, I poured it. I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, so I you, I asked if you flirted Louis. with anyone in your Discord. No, that, that was it. That was a simple question. Did you okay. flirt with anyone in your Discord? You said if no. It's, if it's the, someone that I actually know, sure, yes, I don't mind flirting with them. But it's someone I knew compared to a fan. But that wasn't the question. I okay, yes, I, 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 yes, 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 I flirted with someone. I flirted with several people that I know in real life. Yes, I know several people that I'm good, close friends with. Yes, I flirted with them. So Some why would you say no? Best buds. Because the time that you asked me, it made it sound like you were sitting here saying, have you flirted with anyone in your Discord, as in a fan? No, I didn't say a fan or anything, I just said, have you flirted with anyone that's, in your Discord? That, that was the context of our conversation prior, so that's it, why. It, it really wasn't. I just asked. It was. It ever, was, because you asked a, me before then, Louis. Louis, 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 you asked me I'm not me old, before. dude. Don't talk to me like if I'm a dog. Well, I, <laughs> I, I just asked. All right, then you state you your point, and then you'll, I'll state my point without being interrupted. So go ahead, state your point. I oh. just asked one simple question, which was, did you flirt with anyone in your Discord? And my response is, yes, I have, but I don't flirt with fans in my Discord. At the time that you asked me, you also asked me, hey, you thought it was weird that I flirted with fans. You asked me that question before we even started on all this. And then you said, have you ever flirted with someone in your Discord? I thought you were referring to, have you ever flirted with anyone in your Discord? Anyone can go back in this live stream and actually look. Go back and look. Louis did ask me beforehand, you, you thought it was weird that I sat here and I flirted with a fan. You did ask me that right beforehand. So the context of the situation when you asked me that question was, have you flirted with anyone in your Discord? Me thinking, have I flirted with any fans in my Discord? I said, no, I don't flirt with people in my Discord. 
thought thinking that we're talking about fans. If it's someone I know in real life, like my buddy Alex, who, you know, lives in the same town as me, or my friend Blake, who lives about an hour or two away from me, then, oh yeah, I've definitely flirted with people in my Discord then, because I know them in real life, they're my buddies. I find it fun to sit here and do that stuff. But, this person Vex, who I knew, and was a good friend of mine, and my friend Abby's, I probably briefly complimented her in a group chat separate from the discord so yeah that was my explanation to all this so your point that you're trying to make is that you caught me on some major lie but it's not really a lie it's the most minute and littlest thing to bring up oh no i just wanted to get like i said where you draw the line like do you have to be her superior officer or something Louis, Louis, you know someone in real life you know, you probably would have no problem flirting with them. You you probably don't have no problem flirting with fans either. So, I mean that that, that ain't really. You a point made to bring the out, argument but... though. You made the argument that you shouldn't do that. I I said it was just weird. And that's Why my opinion weird? on it. Because I feel like it's weird to sit here and message fans and flirt with them. All right. So if you think that's weird, you didn't think it was weird to date Mini Lad's victim. No. I think that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you didn't and for the like... same reason. Just because. Just because. Because you didn't really give me an answer when I asked you why you thought that. You're just like, I just think it's weird. So I just think that's weird. All right. And you could think it's weird. That's fine. I mean, if, if Louis's trying to sit here and state that it's weird that I've flirted with someone before via Discord, then he can state that it's weird. That's fine. Like I said, I, I don't just really I was care if she has an opinion on the matter. Wait, I was just I was just questioning uh, where you Louis, draw the Louis, line. Give me That's... a second. Let me give me a second. All right, uh, TJ, what do you think of the relationship being that the case between PewDiePie and Marzia then? Because they were a fan and a, uh, a I, I I don't know much about them. No, no, but... no I'm telling you, they were a, a fan and a and a creator. So, what do you think of that? Do you? I think that? that's a little weird to me. A little strange. Okay. All right. Sorry, Louie, keep going. I'm not saying no. it like absolutely can't happen, and that's why I've never brought up a point that, oh my god, Louie's flirted with a fan, it's so awful, you know, I've never brought up that point, I just think it's a little weird, a little strange. Yeah, well, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying, where do you draw the line, because there's that dynamic, you flirt with someone, okay, you're <laughs> gonna say that was, that was your friend, oh, yeah. there's a person whose content you covered of, like, a victim... And that you were a fan of said victim, like con um, abuser, I guess. And then you didn't find, like, I don't know, in your head, like a conflict of interest or, yeah, I get you like me. I'm starting to like you, but I don't think this is a good idea. So you like you went for it. I find that weird. And that's why I was yeah. seeing where do you draw the line on what's weird and what isn't weird? Because I just want to know if it's a straight line or is it squiggly line or is it diagonal? Is it a slope? Like, what is it? I'm just trying. Uh -huh. I'm just asking. So if you're if you're trying to find the line, I think it's a bit of a squiggly line. It's probably polka dotted a little bit. There's some blue, some purple, some red, some green in there. You know, um, that that's what you're asking, right, Louis? I mean, w what are you even on about right now? Like, are we really talking about what I find weird in terms of a relationship and flirting right now? No, it's, it's simple. Line. You, it could be the squiggly the things... line that covered up his dick made a fake dick pick allegation that, that could be the line is that, that, is that the line <laughs> no the, the, the line i'm thinking Weird is like line. the stuff that you had accused me of or believed in and said your statements or opinions on for yeah. the things i've seen about you i get it if you were consistent in what you've said but when you when it's not consistent at all and the goalpost keeps moving, which I do believe the line is actually a dotted line, I'm kind of like, all right, I see where you're coming from. So that's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to ask you those questions myself because I didn't want to assume. Seems like you have your opinion already made up, but that's fine. Well, I got an answer now. So before, I had no answer. If someone okay. asked me, do I think, what do I think about this with TJV or what do I think about that? I was like, I don't know. But you gave me an answer. Okay. Shit.
so to again clarify when i brought up the scenario i was just saying you said that i couldn't flirt with the fan or i shouldn't flirt with that because it's weird right and you said yes i wasn't trying to say you're flirting with the fan i was just saying you thought that was weird right i just wanted to know so then i just asked you have you flirted with anyone in your discord as an in general, it had nothing to do with the fan. It was an in general, and it was a no. And, and I said, "Are you sure?" Like, yeah, yes. No. Then, but when you brought it up at the time, my mindset was that you're trying to bring up that I've been flirting with a fan, that I've done something similar to what you have done or what I've accused you of doing. Yeah, you and that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I had to rephrase that. <laughs> like it's like it's just like what people have accused him of doing. That you know that you believe some shit like that. You should just rephrase that. But whatever. Or, or not doing COD with us later. Damn. Huh? Damn. Are you gonna play what? COD with us later? Like I maybe I don't know. You guys took up enough of my fucking time. Like this is supposed to be. Dude, we're supposed to go over the dock, and I don't know how we got here. I'm just over here trying to do errands. The dock was boring and, and dumb, so I watched TJB's video because it was more entertaining. <laughs> mm, I see. I mean, I mean, I can make another video, you know, next week if you want a new video to cover on sure, your channel. Uh, yeah, no, I got you, no problem. Based. Oh, bring, dude. You know what you should do? Bring the nuggies. Um, have them like right in the corner if you want. Right. Of the <laughs> entire video, dog. they're just creeping you're so over the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be dope. <laughs> yeah. Man, you're repulsive, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna talk to you for the rest of the night. Fuck off. What? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Or it does this sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Or Get angry a, at us. Or is a hard hitter. That's for sure. <laughs> right, Aura? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Get the hard hitting questions, Aura. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more speaking of. <laughs> questions, dude? I don't even know what we can talk about anymore, dude. Questions, it's been fucking hours. I am tired. Statements? Dude, everything we went over, we kind of already went over. I would ask TJ why he believes this person. But then I don't really know what I'm going to get out of it, and I feel like we're going to go in circles. So I kind of don't yeah, want Aurora, to. Yeah, Aurora, it's just, it's just difference in opinions right now. Until I go through the rest mm -hmm. of the document, we might so, have like, similar, that's, that's, similar yeah, opinions awesome. about the matter. But until then. So that, just... Remember, yeah, I said, I said it would be my fucking proxy. So I already knew that would be your answer, so I didn't want to bother. Plus, like, we've been going around in circles. I don't think we're going to resolve anything. I think this is, our, like, the best ending we're going to get out of it. And again, I bring it to everybody else. Does anybody else have anything else they want to say? Any closers? Even though it's not my stream, this is end stream. <laughs> I'm just saying it looks like your life stream is going to come to an end. <laughs> Origami. Are you okay? Are you, you seem a little heated. No, dude, I'm never okay. I hate everything, dog. I'm the crow but of you fucking love me, anger. Right? Uh, sometimes you piss me off a lot. Hey, I've been good lately. <laughs> yeah, you have because you've been quiet. You know what I mean? Like, again, that's the best version of Steve. It's quiet, it's Steve. Well, I've been talking about small people too. I've been causing a kerfuffle. I've been good. Okay, all right, relax. Uh, Louis, do you have any final statements for TJB? No, because then it's going to change later on. Okay. TJB, do you have <laughs> any final statements for Louis Caliber? Uh, I'd like Louis to keep getting that, those messages from whoever and uh, try to see if he can dig up some better dirt on me because that was a pretty poor attempt. Oh, you're saying that he didn't pull the god shoe on you? Uh, he tried. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what was I trying to do? What was I trying to do? I'm just curious now. No, you were just saying it? that you have some people who message you and, you know, you know, tell... Tell you stuff about me or yada 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 whatever yeah, you know, yeah. and I feel like that. I, was I this doesn't. This, wait wait wait. This wait, this world. this doesn't sound like a gotcha thing. Like you you seem that like my intention of asking you is to be like, ah, I got you. I got you in what? Well then, what, what was your intention then? I I explained just it just to see where the line is drawn with me. Yeah, like what you what you find weird because I I find like you know like you said you shouldn't flirt fans because it's weird. I feel it's weird to go at victims of whose trauma and stuff you've covered and you know their background with that person that you said was one of your favorite YouTubers. Like, I, I find that weird that, like, the girl that he was grooming or whatever he was doing to um, you kind of, like, got started a relationship with her and at the same time you've 
find it okay to flirt with people in something that you own. So I'm just putting those together as in, wait, you think that it's weird that I like flirted with a fan? Why? All right. Well, I find that it's weird that you flirt with people like in, like I said, and like, like I said, it's a, it's a server, but it's still yours. And you also go out with people uh, of situations that you've covered and you know, and you have no reserves or reservations against that. But you find it weird for me to do that. So it's like, again, that plus... Let me I'm going to kind of state that I shouldn't sit here and date people just because they've been part of situations. No, like I said, you can if you want. But just like me, for my fans, you find yeah. weird. I find the weird. That's why I wanted to get answers. And look at you said, what was the whole point of all this? Follow the line real quick. From point A to B. I was just curious to know why you find these things weird and not those things weird. I, again, going back to the very beginning of this document, I find it weird that you believe someone who's been proven to be an inconsistent liar, but you'll believe them 100% on what they're saying about me, even though it's been proven three different times that they lied themselves. No one made them lie. That's not including what Cyan said or anything. It's what they said to Cyan. You believe a liar? You'd think it's weird to flirt with fans, yet you don't think it's weird to go out with a victim or to flirt with someone in your own controlled environment. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, all right, that's your mindset on things, and I feel it's everywhere. Like, you might like lava, but then later on, you fucking love ice. And it's like, I get it. I get it. Like, that's just the way you see things, but it's making sense now as to how you come to your conclusions. That's all. It wasn't to, I gotcha. It was nothing like that. It was like, oh, you're in trouble now, or you did something bad. It was just, I wanted to know what you gauge is inappropriate or not. Who you believe, why <laughs> you believe. And that was it. All right. Uh, so then I will, I would love to reword my final statements. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yes. uh, oh. towards Louis. Um, if Louis, uh, We'd like to continue any sort of uh, adventure to find out where I draw my line. He can always hit me up on Twitter or even through my Discord now that we're in the same Discord. So, um, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that, I guess that's mine. Since his actual goal is not to sit here and, you know, you know, have a gotcha moment on me. It's really just to find out my opinion and find line where my opinion is and where my line is drawn when it comes to flirting with girls and having relationships. So if Louis cares so deeply about my opinion on that, he, he knows where to find me. Oh, okay. I, already got, I already got your answer. Oh, okay. I'm, if you just have any follow-up questions, <laughs> just letting you know. Jesus. Oh, this was a great... I think this was productive. What do, what do you guys think? Was this productive? Absolutely fucking not. Are we done yet? Are we fucking done now? Are we done? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're done. All right. Steve's asked for 